Good day, guys. Ping here.、Um, today, let's、uh, let's try this one. So,、uh, must be Zahat. Okay. So, yep. So let's try this one.、Um, basically,、uh, it would be good. It would be better to model the model these、uh, in、um, like Rhino,、um, but we can we can still model the model them in in Revit,、uh, and also.、Um, Uh, so let's try. Let's just create. And also, there's a.、Um, I think there's a a, a plug in、uh, which you can use、uh, in Revit.、Uh, I haven't tried because <laughs> I don't. I'm not very good at、uh, Rhino.、Uh, I, I I will try try sometime. Uh, uh, I I need to learn a little bit more.、Uh, About Rhino,、um, hopefully、uh, when I ha have some time. Okay, so let's do it in Revit. So usually、uh, um, a shape like this one,、uh, of course,、uh, mass. And、uh, you might think how to model it、um, efficiently.、Uh, I mean. Yeah. So basically, so you look at you first. You find trying to find a、um, a path. Okay. So it will be a multi multi、uh, profile、um, sweep, and then you first you find trying to find a, a a path. So which is so this right, and then once you have a path, and then you just need to create multiple、uh, profile. So along this path, and then you can create this shape. So I'll just、uh, first let's create a model in place mass, and for the、um, I think it's easier to just use a spline because splines always in. So when I look at this one, it's almost one、uh, quite flat. So of course there's a a little height. So we can change the height of the profile to achieve this. Right, so I'll just、um, so use reference spline, and I'm going to use draw on word plan and draw it on the ground、uh, ground floor level. So I'll just roughly so do something like this. Okay, so this、uh, yeah probably not、uh, exactly the same, but roughly roughly the、uh, similar. So this is a a path, right? Maybe、uh, we need to make it bigger. So to 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 keep the scale of this, you just need to drag this point, and you will keep the shape、uh, of this spline, and just、uh, change the scale. Okay.、Um, and of course, if you want to change the point, you just、uh, location of this at、uh, the last point, you just you know tab, and、uh, you can move it. Okay. So so this is it, the path, and then let's go to three D view. So then we need some、uh, profile, but we can't directly draw on this reference line. We need to place some point. Use draw on face first. So for example, I'll just place one point here. And then once you place point, use draw on face. These points can only、uh, be moved along this、uh, reference line. And of course, you can just change this one to not associate, and then you can move it away. But Uh, for this exercise, we need them to stay on this. Okay, so now, so this is a point. So which this reference,、uh, sorry, word plan. So you can see the blue color. So this is the word plan. So it's a face、uh, perpendicular to this、um, reference line. So when you move, it will change the orientation as well. So okay, so now we can just draw something. So for example, let's have a look. This、uh, it's quite complex, complex shape. So you can see, do up, then that,、um, and also all these. They are not even flat; they are curved.、Um, yeah, so that's okay. We can try to、uh, do something similar. So what I'm going to do is I'll just draw.、Um, maybe I'll use star. And arc maybe, 
and use draw on word plan, set word plan, and pick the word plan on this point. So now we can start to draw some lines. I'll just roughly uh, uh, draw like this. Okay, so maybe this, and continue. Maybe I'll just check the chain. So it's it's it will make it a little slightly easier because we'll continue, right? So I'm not sure about <laughs> this one. So maybe go up there. Uh, nah. Nah, not, not right. Let's go back, continue, start this point. Uh, maybe here, maybe here. <laughs> uh, this is this can be very ugly, but anyway, anyway let's just continue. Just uh, yeah, just finish this profile. Okay, so and uh, maybe this. This it's a very ugly shape. Anyway, so this is one profile, and what we need to do is we just copy the whole thing together with this point CC, so we can just place onto here, so different location. And for this one, we can just directly. So for example, if I want to move it up a little bit, you can just move it up. If you want to scale it, you can use a scale RE. Right, you can make it bigger. You can move it. You can rotate it if you want to. You can do. Oh, I have I have the copy checked. So R O. So if you have this copy checked, it will create a. a it will duplicate. Okay. So, and yeah. So that's it. And then we can just copy another one. So um, pick new pick pick new host. Period. here. So maybe this one I want it to come down a little bit. R E scale it to be smaller, and then the last one maybe I'll just copy this one to place it here. So now we have four, and we just need to select all of them, select this part, and this will give us a shape. Okay, so <laughs> it's not too bad, right? Yeah. So yeah, so now we have this shape, and then you can still you can always adjust. Um, so for example, you can change the size of this one. You can just R E, and it will automatically change the change this mat change this mass because they are reference line. Okay, make sure they are reference line. Though when you change, it will also change the mass. When you, if you create model line, once you create this mass, these Will um, this will uh, disappear? But I think you you can still adjust them. But you sh you need to use the edit profile instead. Okay, so um, uh, let me just uh, maybe I'll show you. So I'll copy this, copy everything here. Filter. Okay, I don't have the levels, so that's all good. I'll s I'll, I'll I'll copy them. Maybe I'll delete them, and I'll just select them and uncheck the is reference line. So make the model line. So not black color. They are model line. And now if I select them, create a form. So we will have exactly same mass, but you won't be able to. So you can see it's gone. So become part of this mass.、Um, now if you want to edit. Um, the shape here.、Uh, I'm not sure if I can select. No, it looks like we can't really select the profile anymore. But we can select one one edge. So you can see, you can select this, and you can、um, maybe use edit profile to. Oh, yep, still okay. So we can once we click on edit profile, we can still you can see the whole thing. We can still adjust the whole thing. So、um, similar, but. Yeah,、um, slightly different. <laughs> yeah, oh good. So slightly different. So you just need to go there and edit profile. In、um, this one, if you use reference line, you can just directly, directly adjust. Oh, sorry, I edit, I exit the mass. So go into a mass. So you can directly adjust the reference line. You don't need to edit.、Uh, Profile. So if、uh, in in this one, okay. So I think 
yeah, I think this is it. So, so basically, just draw, try to place all your profiles. Um, and so, yeah, once you place all those profile properly, so you can just quite easily create this shape. And once you have this one, so the next step is you can either um. So if you look at these, the the there are all these little panels. Um, you can you can use uh you can try to tab select if you don't if you wanted to use a divided surface on all of them you can just use select the whole thing and use divided surface right but if you wanted to use different patterns or different materials so you, you probably need to tab select one of them and then you can just use divided surface and for so these divided surface and then you can just so for example, if, I, if, if you want to create something like this or those um, panels, so you can always go in here and use, instead of use fixed number, you can use fixed, um, maybe maximum spacing. So, so this is a very long, but just remember um, when it's very long, very huge scale, uh, it can be some issue because there's a maximum no number so for example this one so currently maximum spacing is 230 that's fine so i'll just change it to 500 okay but in this direction so if i top in 500 revit might tell me no we can't do that uh, okay looks like it still can okay now uh something's not right it's probably because the number is too big. So the number, I think it's maybe 200 or, uh, so if I, well, I let's try a, a meter. So which will, I think it will be 190 something. So if I change this to number, see that's 195. So I think it's probably like 200. That's a maximum number you can get. So if you so if you if you have you know longer a big another so continue this mass to here you you might have you you might you have some issue with the panel because you will have big panel so you probably need to have two mass in, instead of one you just need to uh, break it into two and yeah I think that's that's it and then all oh, these are just grids so if if you wanted to you know have looks like panels solid panels so you need to create i'll oh, just uh, um actually let me just uh, see if uh i'll use this um rectangle rectangle i think the rectangle yeah so it will give you solid panels okay solid panels yeah I think that's it and also yeah if glazing so you can just create a pattern based family so I'll just quickly create one um, family pattern based so you can use a curtain panel pattern based and also there's a generic model pattern based they are um, basically the same and then you can just create some frame I'll just place a point use draw on draw on face and then just create I'll use a circle so it's a, a bit easier <laughs> use draw on word plan set word plan pick this point and create so you can just create something like this and then you can just create the whole uh, a frame so don't worry about overlapping but <laughs> uh, and then yeah we can just create a uh, a solid panel so let's just type in 10 and a 10 so make it 20 mil type glass to make a glass hr load it back and now we can go to uh, go back to, so for, for for example um i'm just going to uh, have some scar line here so and then just use the surface so maybe uh, make it slightly bigger so um, or even just use number uh, for this 10, 5, oh no, wrong, this one, 5, and this one make it 100. So, yeah, so and then we can just apply that uh, uh, pattern based family to it. So, this will create some frame and some glazing. Yep, 
and depends on your uh, computer power. <laughs> yeah, my computer is very slow, so it takes a long time to. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so um, and and also we with all these uh, pattern based family, so you can still adjust. So so for example, I'll just scale it, make it slightly bigger in here. And so it will take some time to calculate all those, those panels and also these uh, pattern based family. So if so if if you um if you not decided you better just do not use these pattern based or, or pa panels uh, first because this will take very long time every time you change anything. So only apply these uh, pattern based family and also divide the surface uh, once you are happy with the overall uh, shape. Okay. And yeah, so this is it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.